Let me tell you a story. Back in 2018, when I was a bit burned out on Yu-Gi-Oh, I was searching in a desperate attempt for some last fun before I gave up the game entirely. I hadn't had fun in the past couple of formats, nor could I genuinely afford to keep up with the game. Shifting from deck to deck, I had finally settled on the classic Wombo Combo deck, Six Samurai. Something about going infinite just spoke to my brain damage. However, there was a problem. Six Samurai are an extremely dated deck, plus Gateway of the Six Samurai is limited. So, I created a solution. I would abuse the holes in the ban list to create as much spam as possible. We could use MX Saver Invoker to loop Secret Six Samurai Kizaru. We could use Brilliant Fusion as a backup plan to Swarm Board. And we could use Zodiac Barrage to not only throw out a free material, but also to destroy Secret Six Samurai Fuma for an effect trigger. Also, Piorata Firewall Dragon is pretty nice. This list would violate almost every basic rule of deck building, such as running four random equip spells, such as Autonomous Action Unit and Megamorph, just for the purpose of sending four for a Soul Day effect. Eventually, with more and more put into the deck, I'd hit 60 cards, birthing the absolute monstrosity that was 66 Samurai. I was okay with this garbage, as I held the rational opinion that 60 cards is more consistent, since you're less likely to draw bricks. I would take this deck to a regional to absolutely no success. It bricked, go figure. But round one, I did obliterate a true Draco player so hard, they organized their deck and asked themselves where they went wrong. Following my defeat at this regionals, I dropped the deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole. It would be a few years later before I'd seriously get back into the game again, and by then, the deck would be banned. I had moved on to more meta decks, but something would slowly creep out of the woodworks. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel entered the scene with a lax ban list. That would slowly take more and more cards off it to freshen up the stagnating game. Small things at first, like MX Saber Invoker, but that light bulb finally went off in my brain with the unbanning of Zodiac Barrage. My brain damage turned on and I started cooking. Despite still not having all of the classic tools, I realized with new stupidity that I could make something much worse. Before I explain the modern deck, I want you to be aware that this deck is the problem. It's a condensed ball of every problem Yu-Gi-Oh! boomers and other card game players will lie about on Twitter. Usually this is just nonsense, but in our case, it is a guide. Run down the timer with your combos, throw out stupid staples, and make a million negates. Be the reason someone quits Master Duel. So here's my modern day deck list for 66 Samurai. It's very straightforward. You're playing three of every six Samurai monster that can spam out every other six Samurai monster. Three Kazaru, three Grandmaster, three Great Shogun Shin, and three Kageki, plus three of all the Searchers, and Counter Generators. In particular, I want to highlight three Mizuo and three Shinai. Each one of these can special summon themselves out from their hand if you control the other one on board. This matters since they're searchable from Secret Six Samurai Kazaru. These are even more important since the deck's best extenders are rank three. Let's get into a larger point of strategy, counter generation. Six Samurai as a deck revolve around generating Bushido counters every time a Six Samurai monster is summoned. Gateway of the Six Samurai lets us search a Six Samurai monster for every four counters anywhere, but it only generates two counters for each summon. This means we either need multiple counter generating cards or we can use extenders to turn every two monsters into a different two monsters plus some counters. For example, Two level 3s go to MX Saber Invoker, which goes into Kizaru in a search, or I sold it into Hatsune. Going 2 for 2.5 lets this deck deal with heavy cost and negs that come with Link spamming and starting combos. I'll also mention here the 3 Great Shogun Shin. It's a hard floodgate of an opponent's spells and traps that summons itself for free. In the TCG, I'd be a bit more hesitant about running it, but in Master Duel's janky best of one format, it's so much stronger than it has any right to be. This list makes use of several powerful engines. Most notably is the Kashtira engine. It's a simple tool that gets us disruption and removal and free attack gain thanks to the field spell. If you wanted to with the Kashtira engine, you could up this to run three unicorn as well. An opponent will feel pressure to deal with this, so it can be a very necessary tool going second. But even more interesting than Kashtira is the Zodiac engine. Zodiac Barrage has no restrictions or real cost, so at its most basic, it pulls out an extra material for a Link monster, or just an extra disruption with Zodiac Trident. We can use Zodiac Barrage to destroy 6 Samurai Fuma to trigger her effect, so it ends up being a plus one. 
Fuma is, of course, extremely searchable, thanks to I sold a two Tales of the Noble Knights, or literally any six samurai searcher. Zodiac Barrage and Kashtira contribute to what put this deck head and shoulders above my earlier iterations. Not only is it a stupid wombo combo deck, but it's the stupid wombo combo deck that can also play second. The extra deck is very straightforward. Let's split it into extenders and inboard. We have before mentioned the extenders of MX Saber, Invoker, and Isolde, but let's explain the other three. Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai is a searcher for Gateway of the Six Samurai. He does take a discard and doesn't lead to any further plays on his own, so he has to either be used for specific 3 to 4 card combos, or more likely after we've done some setup with Isolde and MX Saber Invoker. Basically, unless you have guaranteed follow up, don't make him. Skaldred Saryuja is the bread and butter extender, especially since most of this deck is extenders and one card engines. Drawing 4 is crazy, and with some extra searches thanks to Isolde, Gateway, and Kazaru, the put back 3 cards from hand isn't really a cost. Levier is an extender's extender. If we've already used MX Saber Invoker and Isolde to make Hatsume, we can then follow up Hatsume with a Levier to keep the loops going. It's very overkill, but it does sustain some otherwise suboptimal starts. For our inboards, we have a large chunk dedicated to generic link spam. IP Masquerina lets us benefit from leaving out materials. Nightmare Griffin is a monster effect negate floodgate. Apollosa is just four monster negates, and Underworld Goddess is an out the problematic monsters as well as an extra target for IP Masquerina. For XYZs, we have Abyss Dweller and Maguska. Maguska is our plan B, or a simple backup plan. Abyss Dweller, on the other hand, is a crazy powerful anti-graveyard floodgate. Master Duel being a best of one format does make this kind of awkward to use, since you kinda just gotta feel your opponents playing a deck that loses to it. But you still should run it. Naturia Beast and Six Samurai Shin are our spell negates. Of course, Naturia Beast is a much better play, but we need access to Shin Squire to get it. This means we have to go through a limited number of good, but not guaranteed options to get it from the deck. Much more often, we'll only go for Shin, who's one spell or trap negate. Shin is also strong to make, because he also can generate six samurai counters. So that's about it as far as deck explanations go. I'd animate large combos, like with my Noble Knight videos, but for this deck, I think it probably would kill me. So instead, I'll show you some games I recorded to help get a feel for how to play the deck. Now this hand is pretty cracked for going second. Like, honestly, just about as cracked as it could be. Now, all right, perfect. Get that perfect hand so we can dismantle your board with two incredibly stupid go second oriented cards. Now, you people in the comments might just be saying, oh, you're only, you know, winning these games because you open Dark Ruler no more, Pressure Planet Ray Soul. And to that I say, yeah, that is correct. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Looks like we have a really good matchup for Dark Ruler here. Ah, oh, I love dinos. Call by the Grave ain't gonna help you, buddy. I am calling he's gonna do a five minute long combo. And then he's gonna scoop after Dark Ruler, Pressure Planet, Ray Soul. And this is perfect for me, because as soon as he scoops, I get to go, Oh no! I am playing with wheel! No hack! Oh. Maguska? Alright. He bricked. Lied about the combo. That's fine. Is that one? Let's see, we saw him add... Called by the grave to hand, that's odd. Uh, I think we established full combo here. So we're just gonna Dark Ruler no more the Baguska. <laughs> that's fine, that was a bait. Little does he know, that was the bait. <laughs> for this. Now we could go Kageki, but I'm 90% sure that, well, that's the call by the grave, actually. And now in case for some off reason it's an imperm, we'll play around it. I've seen people do more insane. I can either draw now and try to get lucky here. Hmm. 
Or we could try to do some like loops or something. I think we need more gas in hand, so we're gonna go for more gas in hand. Oh, there's Fenrir, that's not helpful. We so pop that. You add you only monsters, yeah. Okay. We'll do an MX Saber Invoker into our Soul Day play. Just put some e more cards in hand. Okay. I don't think we had game there. I think he had a lot of potential here. But that's fine. Alright, this hand is kind of scuffed. Zodiac Barrage is funny. Double Shanae has potential to be funny depending on what we draw. Uh, let's do the Ash Blossom check. If no, he loses. He loses. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a best possible top deck. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Damn. Okay, I think I'm just gonna play all of these games back to back to back. So just an a adequate ex well, maybe not back to back to back. I don't know. Because it has to still be watchable is the thing. All anyone really cares about is the initial deck list. Okay, honest. He's, yeah, he's... He should just go, like, Baguska Pass here. That doesn't give me too, too many cards to work with. And I have to actually waste resources to out it. Nope, he's going for the full shebang. That is incorrect. trying to make you. Also, 60 card deck, but still drawing the three of the same card. Classic, uh, true random shufflers. Oh yeah, true random shuffle. This is a really interesting concept, where when you shuffle a deck IRL, it's not actually random. The common patterns of shuffling tend to distribute cards in a fairly, like, equal way. Like, if you play Magic, there's something called, uh, Mana Weaving, where you put, like, one land between every three or four cards. The thing is, the way people naturally shuffle will end up something like that if the land was already like that in the first place. You will still end up with those clumps, but it's less likely. With a computer system... Oh, he's going for the board white play, that won't do, that won't do anything. But in a computer system... Shufflers are true, true random. You will end up with more just insane hands you wouldn't have in a regular game. <laughs> We're gonna mega morph this man. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Fusion Destiny. Okay, this is actually a pretty uh, interesting case study in, in why playing through Maxi is a terrible idea. So he will come back on the clapback and just kill me next turn, but he ain't gonna have the next turn. We start with. Okay. That's a mass change. One of these is a mass change. Okay. Let's thank you. We're going to start with the Zodiac Barrage. And then if not, if we do bait out the uh, Elemental Hero. Absolute zero play. could try the normal summon Fuma play. Ooh, that's a bit rough, rough though. I think we just need to bait out his board. Typically I would go Barrage, pop Fuma, but he will get pretty suspicious of that. Mm. Let's see, that a 16 attack? It's about to have zero, but we'll just do an attack anyway. We have to bait out the uh, Ice Age first, so when he goes into Acid, which is what that play is, Mass Change into Acid, it wipes all of our spell back row, too. So we do actually have to get rid of that first. I'm just going to let that happen. Pop the board. Okay. That is livable. I am going to lead Fuma. 
because he cannot pop the Fuma. You know, now he's thinking about it because he doesn't know what to do. Do we remove the counters from United, the cheese gateway stuff? No, we remove all on gateway and play it safe. We just, we just have to play it safe. Trying to figure out what to do while I slowly build the board. And now I got a back row turned off. Now an actual concern here is going to be the timer. Because this is taking me a lot of time to figure out how to dismantle this board. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make our first aggressive play into our combo. He will have to negate this. We'll make our soul there. We are going to go full greed here, since he either can remove it or he can't. Infinite impermanence, that's fine. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to negate that. We are going to 100% negate that. Show me the second one. Also, just notice I did 100% put Gateway in this column. <laughs> perfect, perfect. He's gonna send a monster. Or the trap, actually. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Now let's think, do we want to go for the draw two? Uh, first... Uh, you know, let's go for the... Ooh, the draw two is risky though. Let's see, if we go for the four... One, two... Three... Five... Let's... Let's see if he realizes what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go for the, uh... They just other special summon. And if he does not stop this summon. If he doesn't stop this summon, I'm going to link with his Phoenix into the Link 5. And then I'm gonna equip it with Mega Moon. Which doesn't actually work because my life points have to allow okay. Does he see the play? He does not. I guess we'll negate. But we can just swing for game from that. Let's go ahead and draw one for some extra security. A little too, a little too late. And swing for game. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Alright, this is kind of a rough hand for going first. Great for going second, very rough for going first. We are going to have to ooh, kind of make some bad plays here just to set up it all. Yeah. Some of the ash. I'll get that out of the way now.
What is he waiting on? Well, in any case, we do this to try to set up for something. If he's smart, he imperms this. He does not ash this, he imperms it. There we go. That's fine. And since we've most likely already... Ooh. I'm thinking here. If we can get Isolde to stick on the field, we should not use the effect. But if not, if we think it's going to die, we should go ahead and waste the effect to not draw into any of our brick field spells. I think we don't have any good top decks here. Or, well, we do have a few good ones. We don't have anything truly good. So we're just going to try to sit on the Isolde. And hopefully our 60 card... Did I ash that? I think I ash that. Try imperm that, maybe. I think we imperm that, yeah, and just knock it out. Yep. We are in a very tough spot here. Alright. What top deck gets us out of this? Zodiac, actually. Or Cat Cash Tira. Nope. Nope. Oh, man, I think we lose. Just in turn, can't do anything. Now we just gotta hope to not get out decayed, although it's dragon made, so I don't have a lot of confidence in that. Even with the Ash Blossom. I do think we still ash that. Luckily, they don't seem to have any big dragons. The big ones would start looping us out. Well, I do believe this is live to do the recursion effect. Yeah. That's going to let him go into the Omni Negate. Which is not good for us, but we can handle that. Yep, Shio, I'm gonna get. It's gonna let him recursion, recur. Probably a house dragon mid. We're in a rough spot. That's game. Oh, only four cards in the extra deck. I'm sorry, buddy. This is a very cracked hand. This is technically an infinite if he cannot stop this. Because we just... We just hard surge gateway here. Yeah. When in my guide I was talking about those specific, like, three to four card combos, this is that. We just opened up three special summons. I'm gonna go ahead and search, put the Kageki in hand. We 
dump the full three. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, we do it like this. Let us go into... Do we have a... So we already have one of these engraved, so we'll go for Shania. Activate effect. We're gonna banish... You. And then we can get rid of a Grandmaster. Where'd you get the flood board? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to just put another random card in hand, and then we're gonna start Yuja. I think we're going to try to keep the Mizu on the field, so we're going to go Shania. Because we still have MX7 Valkyrie alive. No. No. I'm going to see if we can draw into something funny. That, oh, that this is something funny. Put that back. Put this out on the field. Let's see. Hold on. All right, no, we're fine. Okay, we're gonna MX Saber Invoker. Do we levy our target? We do. No four low, never mind. No, we don't. Take our search. We're gonna then go for our fire guy. Nope. Oh, I have to activate it. Just keeping counters off your cards you don't need. do, because we can get greedy here, is we can then go directly, let's see, yeah, we're going to just Apollos, we'll be, we'll get kind of stupid with it, let's see, if we go to Apollosa, we want to make IP with the other search, yeah. we're going to make Apollosa, IP, Apollosa IP material beast. I'm actually doing this pretty quickly. You know what? Let's go for an additional extender. We then want you. You want to be able to play around spear mode, because you know it's very popular this format. It would be lava golem thanks to the funny mechanicos. We do that here. There's just that that ends our combo though. So we actually have to link climb first. 
two gives us three counters, three counters. Oh, three counters is enough. We're, we're one sort. Yeah, we're just gonna have to... IP? Yeah, we do have to go IP. We'll just leave these two out as extra things. Activate effect, the special. Effect, draw two. Set one, and congratulations, you are now the villain. I need Lava Golem or GG. Lava Golem, Dark Ruler or GG. And we can kind of play around. Well, can't we really play around Dark Ruler, but we have Imperm. Okay. Nurse Burn. Okay, one, two. Negate that because we can. Attack in the IV map yeah. Okay. I'm going to make this gain 500 attack. I'm going to go to Battle Phase. Gateway does have that. Do that. More the declared card gains. Try to clear fusion. So Bro can still get out of this if he has some way to deal uh, 5,000 damage with this last card. Tinker monster, okay. One synchro monster in my extra deck. I'm assuming this is just four random links to work with this card. Problem is for his combo to work, he has to make a uh, Rafikul dodge in perm, and there's nothing that he can currently do to do that without making the field, and thus make the trying guesses with the burn. Yeah, interesting strategy, not super good in this modern format. But what else should I expect from a player with four cards in their extra deck and Marshmallow as their mate? I <laughs> like that animation. That's good. Now, because he is mad, he's now upsetting the timer. I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this. Alright. And there we go. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you found my gimmicky little deck profile fun. I spent way too much time on it, but I hope you liked it anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.